Today we're going to have a look around the main house on our property. Come on on in. This is the main entrance to our house. You come in through the front door into the farm. Now this is a fantastic space of about 50 square meters. We've got a couple of storage rooms over there. We've got the loft up here, the, uh, the wood oven, the bread oven over in the corner. The wood oven, it's amazing. So the smoke all goes up here. You need to do a bit of practice at making a good pizza. Yeah. Right. Ah, see, you have the knack. This was originally the hayloft for the barn, where they stored all the straw and hay for the animals. When we arrived, it was knee deep in straw, which we swept out onto the vegetable garden. These are some of the farm implements we found on our property. This is an old plough, an old scythe. When I'm doing my pole dark impressions, I'll get it out. Uh, over here we have two implements that were dragged over the ground to level the ground out a bit after, uh, after ploughing. We don't know what the name is in English, never mind in Portuguese. If someone can let us know in the comments, that would be very helpful. From up here in the loft, we have a fantastic view of the mountains and just out below us, we look down on the vegetable garden. This beam is sound. We're thinking to say some of the old windows to put in this open triangle. Now, what are we gonna do with this loft? This is an absolutely stunning stone pillar. It's tapered, it's big, Mraid is going to make that concrete pillar look like this one. This is the courtyard. It's a great enclosed sheltered space. We're going to have plants and trees, some paving, seating area sometime in the future. Now we're going to take a walk up the steps onto the veranda. We love to come out here for our morning coffee. Summer, winter, it is a fantastic place to sit here. When it rains, we can sit here in the shelter and look out to the view. Behind the veranda, we have a couple of rooms. Let's go and have a look in here. This room was the kitchen. Over here, we have a big stone slab. And in this corner, was an old rusty cooking stove. The chimney's going up there. We got drying racks up above us. This whole room is black with cooking smoke. We've been told these racks were used for smoking sausages. We've got a window here looking out onto our neighbor's olive grove. All the windows in this house had wooden shutters. They're great for keeping out the heat in the summer and keeping the warmth in in the winter time. Through here we have a small room which was probably a little pantry and this leads into the dining room. There is a beautiful old wooden table here which we have rescued and we will reuse. This was a storage cupboard for the cups, the glasses, the plates. And this room leads back out onto the veranda. This is the main entrance into the rest of the house. We've got a long hallway there, but we'll show you that from the other end because the light is much better. We're going to go back down into the courtyard and show you some of the ground floor rooms. There's a concrete and breeze block built chicken coop, but behind that, there is this beautiful old stone wall, which we're going to reveal. We can see the stone slab that the cooker was supported on. We're using this room for storage, and we also have our compost pooper. This room was an animal house. There was a lot of manure on the floor here, which we dug out and spread on our vegetable gardens. Over here is the cold room. It's pretty dark in there. 
So we're going to need a bit of light. And this beam runs a full length of the house. It's a whole tree. It's still pretty solid. It's supported on big granite blocks at that end. And behind me is supported on the old stone wall. We have the arrow slit. That is so cool. The courtyard leads out through this gate out onto the area and the front of the house. This is the front of our magnificent stone farmhouse. Let's go and have a look. We have these great big wooden boxes which we use for grain storage. Over here, this great big box was a grain box. It must be one, nearly three metres long, this box, just over a metre wide. Some old storage sacks, it's lined with newspaper, but it's still a good solid wooden box. Uh, ground floor room at the front of the house, also used for food and wine storage. I love this door. It is a cracking old door. The main hinge is wood with a hole in the floor at the top and a hole in the in the stone slab at the bottom. It's a beautiful old weathered door this. In Portugal, ground floor rooms were used for animals, food storage, wine storage, workshops. We think that this room was a workshop. There were a lot of rusty old tools, axes, saws, mechanical tools, bits of bicycles, bits of cars, bits of motorbike in here. Floor of the rooms above is all pretty rotten. The floor is just earth and rocks and stone. Inside this old wooden box, which is full of bottles of wine. Oh, Looks like a rosé. So where did we buy this house? We lived on a small sailing boat for a year. We travelled the seas. The houses we lived in in England were small. This house has got space. It's about 200 square metres of footprint. Plus we have the barn. Plus we have an annex over that side. We've got a little room here, which was probably used for animals. The floor above is definitely rotten. Let's go and have a look. Pretty dark in here, there's no natural light. This is a beautiful cold adega, where the wine was kept in the barrels before it was bottled. This beam is incredible. It's a whole tree. It runs the whole length of the house right the way through this room and into the cold room. In behind these barrels, you can see this room is cut into the bedrock of the earth. Here we found this old grinding stone. We're not entirely sure what it was used for, but it was definitely used for grinding something and then the oil or liquid would have run out through this groove. All of the old stone walls are straight and true, except for the hole in the wall. The walls in this house are all about 70 centimetres thick. Welcome to our house. Look at these beautiful boards. Look how big they are. I'm hoping we can save some of these. Maybe not the skirting boards, but we'll save what we can. In here, we can just safely navigate the hallway and some spaces. This was a bedroom and over here, there's a natural light shaft. 
which is quite traditional in Portugal. There are some lovely bits of furniture we'd like to save when we can get them out, but we need a bit more muscle than just Dan and myself. Over here, we have this beautiful little love seat. It looks out onto our small courtyard. So let's go into probably the most interesting room, the most surprising room in the house. You probably won't believe what you're going to see in here. Can you guess what this is? And we've got so much natural light flooding into this room. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've lost the roof here completely, but we have enough tiles along the top of the walls to protect them from the rain. And that seems to be the most important thing to do with natural stone walls. There was a wooden frame and the door. Where did the door go? We took it away. Did we? It was a bird. Oh. We noticed that there was um, a framework here. I'll show you a photograph of it because we've saved it. As soon as we walked in over here, there was a wooden box which you would find in a church. We found this wooden box in what appears to be the old chapel in the house. So let's find out what is inside it. Looks like a, a home decoration book from 1970 something. A book of some description. It doesn't look like a Bible. Jesus. Something about Jesus from 1921. Another magazine. Horizons, Communist America. Oh no, just ditch that one. That's a rat's nest. Magazine from June 1977. Oh, we'll keep that for some inspiration. This is actually a chapel in a house. We have the confessional. If you were brought up Catholic like I was, you would know what this little hatch is for. Oh yes. All those sins, all those naughty, naughty things. This hallway runs the whole length of the house, from the small courtyard at the back, right the way down to the veranda. This hallway is about 14 metres long. This is what we call the enema room. There were two glass, tall glass jars in holders hanging on the wall. And we thought they were oil lights. And we investigated a bit further and discovered that they're quite common in Portugal. We've also found lots of jars of laxative, kind of thinking that the old residents of this house had problems with constipation. Up here we have the attic. We found many treasures and artefacts up there. This is the good room or the living room it was. It looks out onto the area, leads into the hole in the wall room. The floor in this room was beautiful originally. There's a lovely lady called Louisa who spent many summers here and she remembers this floor, actually all of the floors in this house, being shinier than a shiny thing. There's another room off the hallway. There's a small table in here with drawers full of sewing equipment. We're back in the hallway, going down towards the veranda. We've got another room here with a wooden storage box, some little alcoves in the wall, and a very bad floor. Some kind of shelf over there, and the steps up into the attic. These steps are pretty sketchy. So this is the attic. There are still some boxes, possibly full of treasures. There you can see the box around the light shaft, a few rusty old tools, an old basket. This is the other side of the attic. So the last room on the hallway, 
is this one over here. We can't enter this room because the floor is too dangerous, but we're going to put the camera in there so you can have a look around. And you can see why we can't go into this room. Over there is a straw mattress. That window over there looks out onto our beautiful land. We've got big plans and ideas for the restoration of this old stone farmhouse. Remember to like and subscribe and follow along on this massive restoration project. See you next time.